Hey, this is Brother Jeff with the Learning Brothers, and I'm going to walk you through how to get started with the Adobe Edge Animate interactions for Adobe Edge Animate CC. Now, in a different video, I covered how to work with the project files, which you can do that still within the Edge Animate CC. But in this video, I want to focus on the other options. So if you navigate to Activities, come down to Edge Animate Interactions, select any of the uh, Edge Animate, you'll notice a new one that says Edge Animate CC Template File. Now, this one's a little bit easier and actually is uh, more useful if you're going to reuse these over and over. So if you click on Download, make sure you check the latest version. And so if you have a version previous, you may want to uh, delete that version and then download a new version. But once you download it, you'll get this Edge Anime Interaction and the extension is an ANT ML MPL. Now that is the Animate um, template that you can import into uh, Adobe Edge Animate. Now to import that, you just go ahead and from the start screen, you can click on create from template. Now in this case, I don't have any templates uh, created here, but all I have to do is click on the import button, go to my desktop and then find that template and click open. As soon as I find that template, you'll see it within the image and I can delete it if there's a new version on the library and I want to download the new version. Um, or I can select it and then click open all the different templates that I've imported. So let me go ahead and just download another one here. And I'm going to click on import again and I'm going to do the uh, import there. So you can see all the different templates are here and now every time uh, if I want to I can come back in here and I can delete these two uh, template files and that's really the only time I ever need it. And so, because it's always in here, I can just select that template, click open, and now what will happen is it will just start me out with a blank template. So, whatever I did inside of the previous video will now uh, apply here. I need to, first of all, save it somewhere. So, I'm going to go to my desktop, I'm going to click on new folder, and so now I'm going to click on, uh, let's just call this tabs. Hit creates, and then you can name it whatever you want. In this case, it's just named index. I'm going to click save. And now if I hit uh, control enter, I see my different tabs, my interactions and everything like that. Now, just like in the last video, all I had to do to edit the content was just come into the movie clips in the library. So you just double click into the movie clip and then you can scrub to the uh, back or the, uh, the back of the timeline and then just go ahead and replace your text. Double click on the text, replace your text, add your other objects on in the white area. Um, import some images. So if I wanted to just grab some images, let's say ones that I already have, just import the images right in here, go back to the stage area, and then once you're done with it, just hit publish. And this will publish right into that folder on your desktop. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here's my folder. We have uh, the index, we have the publish folder, web, and then my index.html file. So that's how you uh, import the template. Every time I need to use it, uh, create a new template, I'm going to just click on create from template and then select that tabs interaction again so I can quickly create these templates without having to download the project files each time. In the next video, we'll talk about how to update some of the visuals within Edge Animate CC and then we'll also talk about some of the features that you can turn off and on within these uh, Edge Animate templates.